So let's get started draining an abscess. Since the complete evacuation of the purulent material from the incised abscess may require a copious irrigation, we recommend placing a towel on the table you will be using. Open the SIM abscess container and place it in a comfortable position in front of you. To complete the simulation of the sterile field preparation, you will need an associate to act as an assistant to hand you the supplies required for this procedure. The first step is to put on gloves as you will practice the sterile technique required to complete the task. Your assistant will open the drape package, unfold it, and place it on the trainer with the abscess exposed through the fenestration. In no specific order, the assistant should provide you with the procedure bowl, two syringes, 4x4 four four and 2x2 two two sponges, Adson forceps, iris scissors, and a scalpel. After removing the cap from the packing strip container, your assistant will present you with the end. You should grasp this with the forceps and pull about 12 inches onto the sterile field. The assistant will recap the bottle. The assistant will now pour some irrigation fluid into the procedure bowl. In the clinical situation, this will be sterile saline. You can palpate the abscess before starting. Usually there is a soft spot at the point where the abscess is migrating to the surface. The use of local anesthesia is a bit controversial since lidocaine is relatively ineffective in infections. However, some benefits may be derived from a field block around the proposed incision. For this exercise, we will fill the syringe with air as a substitute for lidocaine. Sequentially infiltrate the skin around the abscess. For convenience later, arrange all supplies and instruments for easy access. Now it is time for the incision. In most cases, these will need to be large enough to allow complete drainage and prevent the early sealing of the skin. Hold the scalpel like a pencil and stab the center of the abscess, followed by a short extension. Wipe the purulent material away with 4x4 four four sponges. Gently compress the skin around the opening to evacuate more pus and wipe it away. Fill the 10 milliliter syringe with saline and flush out the cavity several times until the return is clear. You may want to insert the forceps or your little finger into the abscess to break up any loculations that will restrict complete drainage. With the forceps, Grab the end of the packing strip and sequentially place it into the abscess cavity. The goal is to loosely fill the cavity to prevent premature skin closure and possible reaccumulation. Do not pack the abscess tightly unless bleeding needs to be controlled. If only part of the packing is placed in the cavity, cut the excess to leave a short section on the skin for later removal. Place a small dressing over the wound which will be taped in place. A continuation of this scenario will demonstrate the continuing care after an IND, which will require packing removal and replacement. The only necessary supplies are a length of a packing strip along with forceps, scissors, a syringe, and sponges. Expose the abscess and remove the previously placed packing with the forceps. Irrigation can be performed if you believe that it will be beneficial. Grasp the end of the packing strip and place it into the abscess cavity as before. Do not pack the cavity too tightly as the goal is for the cavity to heal from the inside out. A dressing is applied. Since two abscesses are on each board, 
this procedure can be practiced again. Materials and instruments will be assumed to be re-sterilized and available for the second procedure.